it's a great, great day. Grab that blanket on the porch. Two blankets on the porch. The guys from Arizona Game and Fish had been baiting some turkeys. The 200,000 turkeys been trapped in North America that will be released in another location here this morning so that we will be expanding Goose wild turkey population for the future. You got it. Today is a really special day since we're taking the 200,000th turkey and releasing it in the state of Arizona, which is absolutely awesome. And it being of the Gould subspecies, one of the five subspecies in North America, it's a very special day for a lot of people who put in a lot of effort in order to make this happen. And, you know, and I look over my career, the day was just as special as it was back then. The passion to be outside, to see a wild turkey, one of the most magnificent creatures in the world, to be able to come in and know that we're going to take these and move them to another place, start new populations that future generations and kids can enjoy whether they hunt them or go see them. And this passion is, is in us to be able to go do that. The reason we do translocations is we want to expand wild turkeys. And if you go back and look around the turn of the century, we had about 30,000 wild turkeys. Now we've got about 7 million. I got, I got number six. And the only way we have new turkey populations is to catch existing birds that know how to survive in the wild and move them to a new location so we can expand turkey populations. Now we've got over 1,000 turkeys here in Arizona that are ghouls subspecies, seven million in the country. So this is how we move turkeys and make new populations. If you just hold them kind of firmly, but not too tight. So the, if they're heading the yep, like that's good. good. Just like that. Yeah. Just be first right. if you can. Martin, can you help them put them in the box when you got them in it? Yeah, which one? Ready? Oh. Take a little lock on it. Yeah, that's a rough spot. Put the feet down in first, the feet in first. Ready? Hang on, this one's got to go in. Hang on. Gotta get this in. I think she's glad she has the hat on it. As a parent, uh, there is no greater feeling in the world than to have a child out in the outdoors with you. Um, when you're either hunting or you're doing volunteer work, but to have her here today was truly special to myself and my wife. My wife had to work today uh, or else she would have been right here with us. Um, she's very much looking forward to seeing pictures of Rhea uh, holding her first turkey that she's trapped. But the concept of her working as a conservationist at the age of five to help and trap those turkeys, to release them into different locations so that there is a strong population for her and her colleagues as they grow up through the system to be able to hunt is an absolutely phenomenal feeling. What you got there? On the Gould's turkey. This whole event is totally funded by sportsmen's dollars. Their license that they buy to go hunt uh, is part of what pays for this and the excise tax on the arms and ammunition that they buy. Find the opportunity for us to go move wild turkeys. If it wasn't for that, we wouldn't have the wildlife we have in this country. Sportsmen paid for it with their dollars, self-imposed taxes, and so this is why we're going to be able to have this legacy for the future. It was paid for, not by federal dollars, not by tax dollars other than on sportsmen, so that we'll have wildlife for years to come. I'm real excited to release the 200,000 birds of the National Wild Turkey Federation uh, program. I want to personally thank Arizona Game and Fish, all of our volunteers in Arizona, because without you, this program would not be possible. And I just really appreciate all you've done for Arizona.
Good shot. Jennifer, we did not pay that for her. Get a picture of that? Perfect! Did you get that shot? We paid her to do that.